Hi guys, it's Ruben, a math person, so I'll be going over question 56 on SOA exam P. So we'll pause the video real quick and try to problem yourself. Okay, as we are attempted, let's just dive right in. So basically, this is a uniform distribution. X is a uniform distribution from 0 to 1000. And there is some kind of deductible D right here. The expected payment under the policy, let's say Y is the uh, payment under policy. The expected payment under the policy is 0.25% of what it would be normally without any deductibles. So we know the expectation of X, where this is our X right here, would just be B plus A over 2. In our case, B is 1000. A is 0 over 2, which is equal to 500. So that's 0.25 of 500, which is equal to 125. An expected payment of Y would be, so let's think of this from a um, point of view of the customer because this policy is for me. So if, as a customer, if the loss is under D, I pay $0. So expectation is just zero times anything, which is zero. And if I pay anything here, for, for as a customer, I would pay X minus D. That's my expected number of payment. So now we can set up our integral here. So this will be going from D to 1000, I would be paying X minus D. But then remember, for a probability function for a uniform distribution is 1 over B minus A, where B is, again, one thousand zero going from 0 to 1000. So that will be 1 over 1000 minus 0, which is just 1 over 1000. So that's going to be go going over here. And I think we're just ready to rock and roll here. So when we integrate this integral, it's going to be x minus d over 1,000 squared. We raise 1 times 2, so that will be over 2,000 here, times the chain rule, which is just 1, integrating from d to 1,000. And we plug this in for x. So this should be dx. Sorry about that. So then it will be 1,000 minus D squared over 2,000 minus, if I plug in D, D minus D is just 0, so minus 0. This is equal to 125. All right. So I can actually just multiply the 2,000 to the other side. 125 times 2,000, which is 250. 0, 0, 0. Take the square root on both sides. So now we get 1,000 minus D is equal to 500. So then D is just 1,000 minus 500 equals D, making D is equal to 500, which is our answer, C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!